Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Nader Mulali from San Francisco. How are you doing, Nader? Doing it right, thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. So he is an ex-engineer and ex-recruiter. He is an expert in job searching, almost 10 years of coaching people, enabling them to inspire their confidence and help them build a systematic approach to job searching and calculation action to secure interviews quickly and land high paying job offer. So Nader, my qu first question for you is, as a career coach for more than 10 years, what specific or what five tips you can give to job seekers in terms of their job search strategy? Great question. Um, I'll tell you this, the first, uh, the first problem I see a lot of job seekers make or the first mistake yeah. they make it they don't have bad intentions they believe their you know their existing belief their thought process is that if I target multiple industries mm -hmm. you know more than one industry that actually increases improves my chances of success but it actually does not mm -hmm. it takes you out of focus it, uh, it it ends up making you look desperate it ends up yeah. making you look like you don't even know what you want. You're just looking for a job versus building a career. And from an employer's perspective, from a recruiter or a hiring manager's perspective, you're now a risky candidate, someone mm -hmm. who is desperate to just make a dollar after a job versus a career. So thank you very much. We'll move on to the next candidate. So yeah. let's not make that mistake ever again. My number one tip is to pick one industry. Now, with that, you know, piggybacking on, on tip number one, my second tip is to rather than focusing on your experiences, your past experiences, so leaning back on what you used to do, focus on the skills you have acquired throughout those experiences. Yeah. So this becomes a fundamental, it becomes a strategy, it becomes a perspective, the way you look at picking an industry, picking companies, developing your personal brand, writing your resume, it becomes a foundational layer for everything you do in job searching. So rather than you're just dependent on the past, because the past doesn't matter anymore, focus on the present, the capabilities mm -hmm. you have acquired from those experiences. That's what companies want to pay you for. You know, pay, they pay you for your skills. Yes. You can have a thousand years of experience if you cannot use all the skills mm -hmm. that you have learned from those thousand yes. years, it's just, they're not gonna be paying you for that, right? Especially with COVID, you know, the transferable skills or people are losing jobs and they want to start somewhere else. Yeah, not every skill is transferable, you know? If, mm -hmm. if you, you know, it doesn't matter if it's the same industry or a different industry, you only need to focus on what's usable. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you can have a lot of tools in your toolbox, if you're working on, on, a, on a piece of machinery that doesn't have any screws on it, yes. well, you can have a full toolbox of screwdrivers. Guess what? There aren't any screws over here, yeah. you know, so keep your screws to yourself, screwdrivers to yourself, not needed here. So just really focus on what you mm -hmm. have acquired rather than what you used to do or where you used to do it. Okay. So that's my number two. two. Okay. This, Third one, I would say you really want to, again, take a look at strategy again, because I know you and I were, were talking before as well. You had mentioned, you know, like, and a lot of people say, not just you, I used to say the same thing, you know, looking for a job is a full-time job. Yes. Uh, there is some truth to that, but it doesn't have to be. So if you pick the right strategy, if you use the right tools, if your perspective is aligned, it doesn't have to be a full-time job. Mm -hmm. You know, I normally say, you know, you can take the elevator to success. You can take a more accelerated path towards getting hired. And that, that requires a certain system, requires a certain process, uh, you know, requires you to, to, to do some training, understanding, learning, you know, that accelerated yes. you know, process of so the form and factor of that. So you don't have to spend all day job searching. So one of those things, which is like number one, number three, three tip on this list of tips I want to share with you with your audience is to, to first of all, stop wasting so much time on advertisement. Our time is our most valuable asset. Yes. And if you spend your time, because it's kind of every second, the time is going, we're all getting old, we're all yeah. getting closer. We cannot to go back. <laughs> to the time, and you can't go back. So 
you got to be able to have a strong control, you know, great management over your time and spend your time on job search strategies that have higher response rates that are more effective. Yes. So the first thing to do is to see where are the leaks? Where is your time leaking? Where is your time being spent on non-productive actions, non, non-effective strategies? Yeah. And the most ineffective, because it's also the more, the most persuasive of them all is advertising. It's all these jobs, you know, you go to google.com, you type yeah. mechanical engineer job in, in St. John, and you're like, oh, so many jobs that you start applying. It's like, it's yeah. just, it's just not as effective, right? So manage your time better. Don't yeah. waste your time on online ads. Oh, sure. Now, fourth tip is to now you have lots of time available, what to do with it. I recommend you reinvest it into conversations. Yes. Conversations are the lifeline of relationships. Mm-hmm. So it, it is what's needed to create a friendship, to have a dialogue, to create that connection where I think like I can help you and I think you can help me. There's a, there's a two-way road. There's a, yes. there's a connection. We, we exchange some energy, some feelings, some emotions, some, you know, some, some need, you know, you have something I need. I have something you need. Yeah. It's the, it's the fundamentals so building of, relationships. It is. It's the fundamentals of bartering, you know? So if, if I need something and, you know, if I have, uh, you know, I have a phone you want to use, I can give you my phone for a minute and then you, you give me a piece of bread, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You buy me a shawarma, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, we, we got a deal here, you know? Yes. So th- that starts with the conversation, you know? So invest time into conversations. And fifth tip I got, I want to put on this list is to, is to not self-promote. Rather than self-promotion and selling yourself and constantly talking about yourself in your job search process, Focusing on, focus on asking, like inquiring. Yes. Looking to find out, seeking to identify. Mm-hmm. There's, there's a good old saying that says, you know, don't judge a man by the quality of his answers. Judge him or her by the quality of his or her questions. You know, so when it comes to hiring, you know, if I, an employer, a recruiter would really judge you based on the quality of the questions you're asking, That's not right. only by the quality of your answers to their questions yeah. and the right. challenge that the unfortunate situation is that a lot of job seekers go into an interview just to answer questions so it becomes a one it becomes an interrogation yeah you know so you could provide perfect answers to all questions while you're being interrogated and i guarantee you like 99 percent, you won't get hired yeah. you know because you're yeah. just there to answer questions yeah. you're not showing interest in them whom who asks questions is interested in the other party in the conversation. So it's got to be a two-way conversation. Yeah, I always say my clients that don't spend the whole day in front of the computer applying for a job. Have a schedule, maybe Mondays, 8 to 10, applying for a job and then go for a break, do networking, create content, building relationship, as you mentioned. And those are the things that we want because as you mentioned, networking is very important part and having that curiosity mindset, asking questions, it's important because that uh, makes people that you are also intellectual and have that critical thinking that everyone is looking for. Uh, those are great tips, Nader. Thank you very much. Again, for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Nader a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. So it's like a journey with us. You, you can like all the videos, share them, make comments. So if you like any of the coming videos, please follow up with us. And again, tune in tomorrow for another great question with Nader.